Welcome back to Black Enterprise Business Report. No one has better insight into the current state of the economy as it affects small businesses than Leon Richardson, president and CEO of Chemico Systems. His company is a major supplier of chemical products to leading automobile manufacturers. He joins us in studio with Alan Hughes, editorial director at Black Enterprise Magazine, to talk about minority participation in the economic recovery. Gentlemen, both, we want to thank you for coming to the show. Thank you. Thank you. But Leon, I want to start with you first. You sure. had said that minority businesses lacked access to the stimulus plan. Sure. Do you still feel that way? Well, actually, I do. I think uh, when the plan first came out, it really looked at large companies and large organizations, OEMs, original equipment manufacturers like GM and, and Daimler Chrysler. And then secondly, they looked at their first tier suppliers, uh, Lear Corporation, American Axwin, companies like that. They really didn't focus on uh, small or disadvantaged businesses at the, at the, uh, at the onset. Uh, later on, however, they did start to uh, think about small businesses and look to uh, create programs with large companies that would trickle down or cascade down to small and minority-owned businesses. So, Alan, in your opinion, what does the administration have to do to fix it? I mean, this has been a common complaint for years on end. Yeah. Well, basically, it, it's going to require some degree of oversight because left to his own devices, as Leon pointed out, the trickle-down effect won't necessarily trickle down as far as it needs to. Uh, most minority entrepreneurs aren't tier one or tier two, they're tier three. And if it's trickling down, it's gonna, it's gonna require some oversight to make sure that, that in fact does happen. Uh, are minority businesses participating in the rebuilding of America? Well, well actually, they're starting to get opportunities. Uh, the Secretary of Commerce, uh, Gary Locke, has actually started to come into uh, small communities and talk to small businesses about opportunities to rebuild America uh, using the stimulus plan. And uh, over at Labor, uh, Dr. Montgomery has also looked to create opportunities for small businesses in minority communities to actually have access to capital, uh, access to opportunities to help uh, those companies rebuild uh, in those communities because most small businesses that are minority owned are in minority communities. And that means jobs in a minority community. So they are starting to look at it, but it's a trickle down effect. There's always challenges. What challenges are minority companies facing? Well, uh, Leon pointed out capital. It, it takes capital to run your business. If you, if you were to get a contract from the government, for something related to recovery, you're going to need money to be able to execute on it. So everything requires money. And right now, with the, the situation with the banks and the, the, the credit crunch, that access to capital, which was always a challenge to minority businesses, continues to be even more so. So, so some of the things we're seeing now, the conventional uh, capital markets aren't really there for us. Uh, some of the large banks aren't really uh, opening up credit to minority companies. We're starting to see opportunities in the venture capital market and uh, other uh, non-conventional markets. Uh, angel investors are coming to the market to help. Uh, venture capital uh, markets are starting to open up. But the conventional uh, big banks aren't there for us, really. So if the conventional big banks aren't there, this is what the government has oversight of. Venture capital or angel investors, they don't. So how is the government helping? <laughs> Well, that, well, keep in mind that, that venture capitalists often do borrow money to fund their, their transactions. So it's not a direct effect, but there is a sort of, sort of ancillary effect there. Okay, well, I, I want to ask this last question. How can minority firms gain financing in these tight credit markets? Again, it, it seems to all be a trickle-down effect. As Alan has pointed out, venture capital uh, organizations or markets actually borrow from conventional banks or conventional methods and it trickles down. So just being a little creative and innovative as to who you look to to provide financing ha has been some of the solutions, but it's very difficult because the trickle down effects take so much time to actually uh, come into play. And that's what, one thing that a lot of people have to keep in mind that even as they're, they're talking about the recovery, it's going to take a while before the recovery, you actually start seeing the effects of it. It's, uh, it's, it has to trickle down and work its way through, and that's going to take time. You so, both are on the same page on this. Yeah, well, so one of the major challenges is most minority companies are first generation, so they didn't have an opportunity to build that war chest to sustain themselves during these difficult times. So as this trickle down takes time to get to us, it's just been very challenging. But those companies that are prepared and have the proper financing and the right management teams, I think they'll weather this storm. They'll weather this storm. Well, Leon Richardson and Alan Hughes, both, we thank you so much for your insight. Up next, unemployment, it continues to rise. Many are wondering when the job market will turn around. We'll have more when we return.